Yo, how are we doing guys? Welcome to another Dead Frontier 2 build. This is going to be my shop on a build. This is an awesome build. The timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part. So let's get on with the video. All right, here it is. Here's the shotgun build. Honestly, I've always been about the rifle. Like, I've always been about the rifle. But since using this, <laughs> since having a really good shotgun build, I think I might be going to, I might be keeping this build, you know, like it's a pretty good build. But anyway, let's have a look at the shotgun build. Let's have a look at the skills. Let's have a look at the stats. And then we'll have a look at some bossing. So, skills, right. So, I know some of you are going to see toughness. Ignore toughness. Toughness is for when you're getting your prestige levels. Like, don't worry about toughness. So, we're going to start off, obviously, shotgunner. So, you're going to want shotgun expert five. Then we're going to get, depending, like, obviously, this is, for me, this is for hunting uh, bosses. So, shotgunner five, shotgun expert five. Hunter five for the plus 5% mutated damage. Headhunter five for the plus 25% headshot damage. Quick shot five for the plus 50% attack speed. Just bop, 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 bop. Get a lot of shots out. Reload five for the extra walk speed. Reload speed. Mainly for the reload speed. The ammo capacity is super, super nice. The walk speed is a nice little bonus on top as well. And then obviously me, I'm a jogger. So I went with jogger five. If you're a sprinter, go with sprinter five. That's honestly personal preference. I personally prefer jogger, so I get jogger. And then for my prestige levels, I'm currently plus two. So I have toughness two to get that extra health that is my skills that is what i recommend so onto the stats so on your weapons right on your primary weapon your gloves and your hats i've gone for headshot damage damage versus mutated not back distance and stun duration to get all four of them stats on these items these items are going to be expensive but they are worth it when you see this build in action, trust me. So I've got the Carlson's cap, the Carlson's gloves, these are unique items. Someone very, very, very nicely donated these in stream. So Semp, again, thank you very much. But yeah, like I said, you want headshot damage, mutated damage, not back distance and stun duration on your gloves and your hat and your primary weapon if possible. For me, I didn't buy an expensive primary weapon because the, the cut shotguns are just too expensive. So I got weapon headshot damage, health, and damage versus infected. This is right. So if you don't have a lot of money, getting like weapon headshot damage with damage versus infected, that's actually not a bad choice because you're getting the headshot damage, which is going to help with the infected and the bosses, and you're getting the infected damage, which is going to help one shot most of the infected. So it's going to make it easier to actually do the boss because you're going to be able to get rid of the infected a lot faster, a lot easier, and a lot cheaper. So it's not the worst idea doing that. But yeah, that's that's your main stats, right? So after that, we're going to go on to a secondary weapon. With your secondary weapon, you want to get as many little boosters as possible. So I've gone with jog speed, health, and incoming damage. This is an axe that I found a long time ago. And it's, I think I, yeah, I bought it super cheap. It was like super, super cheap. I was surprised how cheap it was actually. Um, I'm going to elite enhance this because this is going to be an insane weapon. So obviously it's got jog speed. Obviously that's a bonus. It's got a little bit of health. That's a bonus. And it's got minus 9% income, incoming damage as well. So, And it's a melee weapon. So when I like, need to take out worms or just like one hit a zombie or something like that. That's a perfect, absolute perfect secondary weapon. Um, going on to your boots again comes down to whether you're a spr uh, sprinter or a jogger try and get that minus three percent incoming damage if possible um red shirt i personally do not um yeah i've gone with health inventory capacity incoming damage health and inventory uh health and incoming damage they're the main two go for them inventory capacity is a bonus if you can get it then with trousers gone for the same again gone for jog speed gone for health Unfortunately, trousers are quite expensive, so I ain't got any incoming minus incoming damage or my uh, plus inventory capacity. Cause minus plus ten percent is the absolute minimum you can have on trousers. So yeah, you want to get jog speed. Well, you want to get sprint or jog, and you want to get health. You know, all depending on your your type of playstyle. If possible, get incoming damage as well, because you obviously want more health and less damage. It's gonna make you tankier. It's gonna make you a lot stronger. Um, with my, me only having toughness two because I'm plus two, I'm sitting at two hundred and twenty-three health, which is really nice. 
Uh, and then I just carry a pair of medic bags. That's it. That's all I carry. But yeah, that's main stats, main skills. This is how I run. This is how I how, how I roll, to say. <laughs> um, now we're gonna show you some gameplay of us doing some bossing. Like I'll literally, that's all gonna be the rest of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, if you've got anything you want to ask or, you've, yeah, if you've got any questions or anything you want to say or anything like that, make sure to hit it in the comments below. Make sure to like the video if you like the video. Also, it gets it out to more people. Make sure to subscribe for future content on Dead Frontier 2. And we'll see you in the next video, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of the uh, the bossing. So, I'll catch you next time. Peace out. Another channel from Dead Frontier 2, but the original spotters are from Black Shots. Terrible game. Shockingly bad game. Whew. Fucked up there, didn't we? Sit. One to remove. Oh, I'm gonna remove them all eventually. I've just not got around to doing it. They just don't stop coming in now, do they? Yo, thank you for the follow, man. Much appreciated, buddy. Easy. Come on, baby. This guy's gonna be junk. It's always junk. I knew it'd be junk. Come on, Neil. What are these drops, bro? <laughs>